Hello guys and welcome to part 3 of my tutorial. And in this tutorial I will teach you how to create and edit a channel. So as you can see here I have our background music channel. I just created that and I just set it to play our music amanda.wma which is actually a file you can get from your Windows sample music if you have a Windows computer. So yeah, you can really just play any kind of music to create your channel. And I just named mine background music. So, now that we have our channel set up, I will not play this because it's completely useless. So, because you guys still won't hear anything. But if I did run this, actually, it would automatically start playing. It would automatically start playing this music. So, yeah. That's just what I wanted to tell you. Alright, so it would automatically start playing the music, and to actually stop that, we have these handy dandy channel controls. And one of them, stop channel, just somehow stops the channel from playing. So stop channel background music will just stop the channel, current channel background music. We have, we can have, uh, unlimited, ba well, basically unlimited amount of channels. So pause channel, pause channel background music, and there is, which pauses the channel, and lastly there is resume channel background music. So yeah, these three handy dandy controls that can stop, pause, and resume your channel. So, yeah, and this, by the way, we here created a channel, if you haven't figured that out yet. And, obviously, if you watched my last tutorials that taught you how to control the pan, the pitch, and the volume of a sound, the same thing works with channel, except it's channel, pan, background, music. I'm just going to type it out just because... Because just because I'm nice. And I want to show you guys what it actually looks like. So, channel... And, why, why did I just write the same thing? I wanted to write channel pitch. So, obviously, there are three values. Channel pan, channel pitch, and channel volume. They're all incredibly simple to understand. If you watched my last tutorial, channel... I just have some kind of promise to type the exact same thing. Alright, channel music comma one. There we go. Six simple commands to control your channel. What can be easier? And the best thing is that, for instance, if we wanted to load some kind of other level with another background music, we could just have two channels and just stop the current channel and just play the other one when we had or when when we're in our second level. So, yeah, and there's one thing I haven't covered yet, and that's just how to loop your uh, channel. So, here we can just write how to loop your channel. If not, and I don't think we have been using our not keyword too much, if not channel playing, and here we specify which channel do we want to check is not playing. Background music just strange somehow if not channel playing we just want to tell it to play it again and that's really simple background music is equal to play music amanda dot wma windows media audio web, windows media something all right and then, obviously, a small and if, and that's it, pow! We finished these these six controls. Control the pan, pitch, volume of our channel, and these just control stop, pause, and uh, stop, pause, and resume our channel. And this is just something to use if you want to loop your music. Very simple, very easy, so thanks guys for watching, and in the next tutorial, I will teach you how to animate a three-dimensional object in Word 3D. So thanks guys and see ya.